Hi, my name is Mike Enzer and I'm a tech lead for Google Distributed Cloud. Today we're diving into the exciting world of AI and machine learning in retail. But here's the twist. We're going to show you how you can add AI and machine learning using the cameras and the investment you already have made. That's right, those security cameras you've got all over the store, they're not just for catching shoplifters anymore. They're actually packed with the potential to boost your sales, improve your customer experience, and give you a serious edge over the competition. Think about it. Your cameras are constantly capturing valuable information. How many people are in your store, where they're going, what products they're looking at, even how long they've been waiting in line. But most retailers are just letting that data go to waste. That's where AI and machine learning come in. So what can AI and ML actually do for your store? Well, for starters, they can give you real-time insights in customer behavior. Imagine knowing exactly when your peak hours are, which areas of your store are most popular, and even the demographics of your customers. So now you might be wondering, okay, Mike, this sounds great, but where do I start? Let's start by discussing the three different types of AI and machine learning. Let's start with computer vision. We can take existing pictures of all of our different items that we want to use or different subjects, put them into models up in the cloud, train them, and then export that down to the edge. Let's use this example here where a point of sales is pulling up a whole bunch of different orders and maybe you want some cheese enchiladas and some steak enchiladas. Uh, it's building some, yeah, essentially some sort of an order that we want to work with here. So as we're doing that, the existing system haven't changed any of that. That allows us to uh, bring in and create an order. You'll see there's our, our payment, our receipt. And now let's go ahead and move on to where we can fulfill this order. So say, for example, we have an existing camera. We can point that camera down at a tray or at a location uh, and pick up each of the different items. They can be identified, as you can see here uh, in the uh, camera. I also just turned off the internet so you can no longer have the internet online, just kind of showing that it's possible to do this without internet. Next, let's talk about custom generation. This gives us the ability to generate specific content just for that individual. We can take existing open source models, we can take models from Vertex, and we can take models that maybe you've trained previously, bring them down to that edge, and then run them using something like Cube AI, where we can interface with an existing application to augment that and create that content. Let's start by taking a look at this uh, ingredients list that maybe we have put online before. It has various different instructions. It has a list of ingredients. And what we'll do is we'll generate some content here. So selecting the different uh, model that you want to start with here, we can uh, upload this document here. And then let's start asking us some questions on what insights we might be able to pull from this or how we might be able to leverage this. So we're going to just going to first ask how many onions are there? And you'll see here that it gives you eh, roughly about a cup of onions. So it was able to extract that information out of there. So imagine your customer now asking these types of questions to the system to say, how much will I need? What will I need? Give me some sort of a recipe. Give it something where it is contextual to that individual and specific to that individual. And here we can even do things like creating a shopping list. So your applications would, would extract that information out of those models uh, and make yourself a curated on the spot uh, list, or maybe make it into some sort of a personal app they can have at home. Next, let's look at adding AI agents to assist our employees. From a high level, agents are in an implementation that uses a RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. A RAG is comprised of two primary phases, data ingestion and the answer. In the data ingestion phase, data is pulled from existing knowledge sources, such as your employee handbooks, uh, repair manuals, and store processes and procedures. That data is then split up into very small chunks called tokens. These tokens are then converted to a digital format called vectors and stored in a database. In the answer phase, the user asks the system for questions to find information. The system then performs a similar vectorization and searches the database looking for similar phrases. This is the retrieval in retrieval augmented generation. The found information is then generated and sent back to the user as natural language. Let's take a look at an example with a company that sells handheld devices. In this demonstration, we have an employee using a tablet. The employee is asked a question, what does ActLen mean? The system then, all done locally within the store itself, looks up and produces a result here saying that it is essentially a different type of statement that's used uh, for, for printing. Next, we can say, well, how do you enable the Bluetooth on that particular device? And then you can see there the system automatically responds to that. Last, we maybe want to have a better description. 
employee puts in that information, we can get information back out about that particular system. So it's all derived from the existing documentation. Now, what if you have a Spanish speaking employee or a Spanish speaking customer who needs the information uh, in a language that they're used to? Well, just ask the system for something in a different language. And perhaps maybe uh, you have someone who wants to speak this in German. And then lastly, you can ask a few questions that might just be relevant for that particular thing. Maybe the customer needs to know what RFID formats are used or supported. As a quick summary, we saw that using your existing cameras, you can leverage machine learning to detect products and use that data as a part of your customer's buy flow. Next, we looked at creating creative content tailored for just that individual. Lastly, we looked at how an agent-based system can improve employees by augmenting existing handhelds that the associates carry today. The future of retail is here and it's powered by AI. So don't get left behind. Unlock the power of your existing investment combined with Google Distributed Cloud and take your business to the next level.